वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा चैनल आई प्रोफेसर रितेश गोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू आई ट्रिपल ई सेवन फाइव फोर फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट सिंगल प्रिसीजन थर्टी टू बीट फॉर्मेट इन दिस सेशन नाउ सी इफ एनी नंबर दैट इज गिवन टू यू देन हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट दैट नंबर इन आई ट्रिपल ई सेवन फाइव फोर फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट सिंगल प्रिसीजन थर्टी टू बीट फॉर्मेट दैट इज वॉट द केस विच वी विल बी गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस सेशन so first i'll explain you the steps which is required to follow to have a conversion of given number into ieee 754 floating point single precision 32 bit format so see first step that is to convert given number into binary number so let me mention that step number 1 so that is to convert given number into binary now see next step that is to represent given binary number into scientific notation so once you convert given number into binary number you can represent that into scientific notation i'll explain explain you this by example so it will be more clear so first let me mention all those steps so second step is to represent given number in scientific notation and once you have given number in binary scientific notation we can apply that into basic format which is there with i triple 754 floating point for single precision 32 bit format so i'll explain you that format step by step so next step that is to have this format now see in this format if you observe this format is made up of 32 bit and in this format first bit that represents sign of given number so first bit so that represents sign so one bit sign is there and in this sign if given number is positive if given number is positive in that case this sign should be zero and if given number is negative in that case this sign that has to be 1 now next in this format is 8 bit exponents so there are 8 bits which is there as exponent now in exponents this 8 bits that we can calculate as per exponent bias plus power so i'll explain you this by example so it will be more clear how to calculate exponent bias and how to calculate power and by addition of this two we can find 8 bits of exponents and next 23 bits that is there with mantisa so next 23 bits that is there as mantisa so how to find this for that let us have one problem to understand this let us have one problem where we have 3066.25 with base 10 data and as i have told you first we need to convert this given number into binary so let us convert this number into binary so this data that i have bisected into two parts 3066 and second part is 0.25 so let us convert 3066 into binary first so i am writing here 3066 if you divide this by 2 you will be getting 1533 and with remainder 0 so i need to mention 0 over here again divide this by 2 so you will be getting 7 and then 1 3 so that is 6 again 1 3 so that is 6 and remainder is 1 so let me mention it over here again if you divide this by 2 so this will be 3 1 6 that is 8 and 6 that is 3 so this will be having remainder 0 again divide this by 2 so this will be 1 9 1 with remainder 1 again divide this by 2 so this will be 1 9 that is 
9 and 1 1 that is 5 with remainder 1. Again divide this by 2. So this will be 4, 4 and 1 5 that is 7 with remainder 1. Again divide this by 2. So this will be 2 3 with remainder 1. Again divide this by 2. So this is 1 1 with remainder 1. Let us divide this by 2 again. So this will be 5 with remainder 1. Again divide this by 2. So this will be 2 with remainder 1. And again if you divide this by 2. So this will be 1 and remainder that will be 0. And this one that I need to write it over here. Now if you go in this way. If you go in this way then you will be having this binary number which is what equivalent to 3066 in decimal right so i can say 3066 now that is 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 and 0 See that is how 3066 is there. Right. Now one more thing that we need to convert here and that is 0 0.25. So 0 0.25 that conversion that we can do it by having multiplication of 2. So if you multiply it with 2. So this will be 0 0.25 into 2 that is 0 0.5. And here carry that is 0. Right. So I am writing it 0. Again 0 0.5 that we need to multiply it with 2. So this is 1.0 and here you can say carry is 1. And again see if you see fractional part so that is 0. So we don't need to go further. And here if you go in this direction we can say 0 0.25 in binary it will be 0 0.01. So if you see this total 3066 and 0 0.25 in binary, then that we can say 3066.25. See, now that will be 1, 0 and 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, point zero one in binary. So this is what first step which is to convert given data into binary. Now next step that is to represent given number in scientific notation. You see I have explained that represent binary number into scientific notation. Now how to do this. So see here we need to jump this point over here. Right. So how many digits that we are jumping. So you can see 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So by 11 digit we need to jump to make this fractional point over here. So I need to write this data in form of 1 point something right. So 1.0 then 1111 and 11 digits that we are jumping so we can say that is 2 into 10 to the power 11. See this is how we can represent given binary number into scientific notation. See this is what the way to represent scientific notation. So here we have concluded second step and next third step that is to represent given number with IEEE 754 format. So See first bit that is sign bit, first bit that is sign bit. So let me mention it. First bit that is sign bit and here given number is positive. As number is positive, first bit will be 0. So first bit that is sign bit. Right and that is 0. Now next is, next is exponent. And as I have told you exponent is exponent bias plus power 
Now here exponent bias that is 2 to the power k minus 1 minus 1 and power as per scientific notation we have calculated that is 11. So plus 11. Now 2 to the power k here if you observe this exponent that is of 8 bits. So if you calculate this 2 to the power 8 minus 1 so that is 7 minus 1 plus 11 2 to the power 7 that is 128 minus 1 that is 127 plus 11 so that is 138 so we can say this is exponent that is 138 right so now we need to write that over here 8 bit exponents So 8 bit exponents that is exponents bias plus power from scientific notation and that is 138 over here. So that is of 8 bit. So let me write that like this. See 1 then 7 zeros are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now see 1 and 7 zeros. So that explains 128 and here we have 138. So 128 plus 10 that is 138. So how to write 10? 10 is 1010. 0, 0. So last 4 digits that we can change 1010. 0, 0. So that is 10 plus 128 that is 138. So this is how we can have 8 bit exponents. Now from scientific notation next 23 bits mantisa that we can write. So here 23 bit mantisa is there right so 23 bit mantisa so see this is what mantisa 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ones are there then 0 1 double 0 0 1 double 0 and then 1 but it is of 23 bits so we need to have zero padding over here right so these are 12 this is 13 14 15 16 then zero padding should get done so this is total 20 and three more zeros are there so that is how these bits are there so now one can understand how to have a solution of I dribbly 754 floating point single precision 32 bit format and here I am giving you one problem as assignment so you just write down your answer in comments definitely I will get back to you if any mistake is there so just solve this problem 236.75 if it is given in terms of decimal just represent that in 754 i e 32 bits i'm just waiting for your answer just give it in comment definitely i'll get back to you if any mistake is been there thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos which will solve your queries thank you so much for watching this video